Today what we're going to look at is simple interest as it relates to if we have two separate accounts and we have a single sum of money that we're talking about. Uh, so we're going to talk about these two banks that we're going to invest in, uh, Smith Bank and Trust Bank. And so before we get started, we want to make sure that we um, have our interest um, equation down. So interest is equal to the principal times the rate times the time. Now principal is the amount that we invest. Uh, the rate is the um, percentage at which we invest it, and time is the amount of time that we invest, which is in terms of years. Now, uh, in short, we talk about it as I equals PRT, so interest equals principal times rate times time. So let's go ahead and get into our example here. Let's say that we invest $8,000 for one year, and we made $490. Now, we have two accounts that we invested in. We went to Smith Bank and they were offering this great deal of 5% interest today only. So we're like, oh, we, we need to get some money in there. So we invest some money and then uh, some of that $8,000 uh, in that bank. And so we, let, we set it in there. And then um, a few days later, we see that Trust Bank has 8% uh, interest. And we're like, well, 8% is better than 5%. So I'm going to put some more, uh, the rest of that $8,000. Um, into um, this account at Trust Bank. So when we look at this, we see that we uh, are going to make $490 total um, from both of our accounts. So um, when we look at our Trust Bank and Smith Bank, if we invested X number of dollars um, at Smith Bank, then we would have invested $8,000, the total amount that we invested, minus the amount that we invested at our Smith Bank. Now, another way to think about this in, in terms of concrete numbers, say you invested $2,000 at Smith Bank, then you would have invested $6,000 at Trust Bank because the total amount that we invested was 8,000. So if we invested 2,000, we take away the 2,000 from the 8,000 and we get the 6,000. So if we invested X number of dollars at 5% at Smith Bank, then we invested 8,000 minus X at the 8% at Trust Bank. Okay, our rate at Smith Bank is 5%, our, our rate at Trust Bank is 8%, and these are both for one year investments. So what we're gonna do now the, that we have this information, we're gonna take a look at how we can uh, create an equation uh, with this. So some of the important information that we have here is our principal, our rate, our time at Smith Bank, our principal rate and time at Trust Bank, and the fact that we made $490. So we need to unpack the interest equation for Smith Bank, and we need to unpack the equation, um, the interest equation at Trust Bank. And we know that when we add those two interests together, in the end, we're gonna get our total interest. So our total interest is $490. And so when we look at our Smith Bank, our principal is X dollars, our rate is 5%, so we want to write that as a decimal, so 0 0.05, and our time is one year, so we put in a one. At Trust Bank, our principal is 8,000 minus X, our rate is 0 0.08, and our time is one year. So here is our equation, and so all we have to do now is go and solve it. So let's start by saying x times 0 0.05 times 1 is just 0.05x. And uh, with our trust bank, we need to distribute the um, 0 0.08 to the 8,000, and we need to uh, distribute it to the x. So 8,000 times 0 0.08 is 640, and x times 0 0.08 is 0 0.08x. And we could have multiplied the 0 0.08 by 1 first before we distribute it. Um, but 1 times anything is just the anything. So, And then we need to keep dropping down our $490 of total interest. So now that we're here, we just need to combine our like terms. We don't use inverse operations because it's on the same side of our equation. So we look and we see 0.05x and a minus 0.08x. We can combine those and we get negative... Um, negative 3 hundredths x. So we have 640 minus 3 hundredths x equals 490. Now we want to get our variable term on 
one side, so let's just leave it on the left side. So in order to get rid of 640, we have to subtract it from both sides. And so 490 minus 640 is a negative 150. And then in order to finish off our problem, we need to divide both sides by negative, zero, uh, negative 3 hundredths. And when we do that, our x is equal to $5,000. So then what that tells us is that we invested $5,000 at our 5%. And so, and we invested $3,000 then at our 8% in a trust bank. So this is just one example of um, these simple interest problems with two accounts. Um, if you have any further questions, please come see me, maybe post a comment, um, and I'd be happy to answer it. Thanks for watching.